Hey, a player, a lot of guys are shy, and that's pretty much what holds them back from being someone that's dateable. So if you're a shy guy, how do you kind of reconcile that? How do you make changes in your life to make yourself more dateable? Don't worry. In this video, I'm going to share a few tips on what you can do, so stay tuned. This is the Just Beats, you're watching the Just Beef. For those of you that are new here, my name is Josh and every single Monday through Friday I make videos sharing tips, ideas, and stories teaching you how to be your best self. Now if you're a shy guy, you already know that your shyness is holding you back, but you might be confused as to where you should begin working on it. Well, I would say the first thing you should probably do is to toss aside your false perceptions. This idea that you are completely 100% undateable, this idea that girls only like bad boys and they're never going to like a guy like you, and this idea that you don't have what it takes you're incapable of learning how to change when people generally ask what type of girls do guys want to be with we tend to look at bad boys or chads or these kind of jocks or cool guys that just totally are outside of the realm of who we are but what we fail to really understand is what lies underneath all of those things what do all those type of guys have in common that is attractive to girls some might give simplistic answers like your height or your jaw shape and things like that but I would go even deeper and I would say it's actually the fact that these guys stand up and share what they think and what they want. Let's take bad boys for example. What are some of the characteristics of a bad boy that you think would be attractive to a girl? Maybe the fact that they kind of dress and act however they want, they follow the beat of their own drum, they don't care about the rules. These are different things that showcase that that person really kind of follows their own way in life. They're not conforming just for the sake of being accepted, they're kind of doing their own thing. Now what makes them a bad boy is that sometimes they're completely unwilling to cooperate with others. They may not open up about their feelings or share their thoughts. Sometimes they could be a closed book. And I think for girls, what makes that attractive is that they want to help those bad boys open up. Let's flip it now and look at the characteristics of a shy guy. Shy guys may not want to rock the boat, so sometimes they'll just go along with things so they can kind of slowly drift in the background. Maybe they won't be as outspoken or share their opinions on things because they're afraid of some kind of backlash. And I think to girls who witness that, they see that as a guy that's just unwilling to kind of open up. Wait a minute, both bad boys and shy guys have trouble showcasing their feelings and opening up. So why are girls more attracted to bad boys rather than shy guys? It's pretty interesting if you really think about it. With bad boys, they'll 100% assert themselves for things that they truly care about. Yes, they struggle with sharing their feelings and their thoughts, but when it's something that's important to them, they are very, very vocal about it. So if a guy is willing to assert himself and to share his opinion on things that truly matter to him, that's going to be a point of attraction for a girl. They're going to see that as, hey, this guy actually cares about something. He's willing to go for it. So if he likes me, he's not going to shy away. He's not going to be afraid. He's actually going to pursue me. All these little micro thoughts play out in a girl's head as they interact with the guy. They start to assess, is this the kind of guy that's really going to take care of me, that's going to care for me, that's going to open up to me? And in the case with bad boys, they tend to fall short. But if you're a shy guy, you have the ability to kind of also be kind and to share your opinions and thoughts. If you're a shy guy that has a lot of trouble opening up to girls, asking them out, starting conversations, and just engaging with them, then what you're doing is you're showcasing to that girl that, hey, I don't really feel confident in interacting with you, and you probably shouldn't look at me as a confident person. And I know that's not the type of vibe you want to give off. Deep down, you probably are a super confident person for very select things that you really enjoy, but you just have a little bit of trouble showcasing that when it comes to talking to girls. So what you really need to focus on here is pulling out the little attributes that these other types of guys have, the bad boys, the jocks, the chads, all these different guys. Pull out the things that make them successful and toss aside all the other crap that they have and really focus on honing in those skills. In your day-to-day -day life, for example, try to assert your opinion more. Try to spend less time in your head thinking things through and ask more questions. Sometimes instead of trying to figure out all the answers inside your own mind, just simply say what you're feeling, say what you're thinking and ask what the other person is thinking too. And what tends to happen is that confidence works like a snowball. Once you start doing it to a few people throughout the day, as you move forward, it becomes easier and easier to talk to people, to engage with them, to ask them questions. If you're just jumping cold into every situation, 
game, yeah, it's gonna be hard. But if you warm yourself up a little bit by talking to regular people that you're not so intimidated by, it becomes way easier. You have to also remember that most people confuse nice guys with soft guys. Generally, when a guy is unwilling to kind of showcase what he feels, how he thinks about something, and assert himself, he becomes a soft guy. Nice guys generally are people who care about others, who take care of them, become leaders, showcase their best selves, and really put themselves out there. You don't have to be mean, you don't have to be a jerk, and you don't have to use people. Just showcase your best self, because that's the most that you can give. But now I wanna know, what do you think? Do you feel like you're a bit of a shy guy and that makes you undateable? Leave your comments down below and we'll talk about it. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and remember to check out the playlist I've put together over there on the side. I've pulled in a bunch of videos from this week and other videos that I think are related to taking care of yourself, to helping you kind of develop your sense of character, your sense of being and being proud of who you are. On that note, guys, I'll catch you next time. As always, love and peace.